All right, let's make an elevation legend. In my map, I've got an elevation data set for the US with elevations in meters, and then I've got a hill shade, which I have blended using a soft light over the elevation. So on our layout, let's go ahead and insert a legend. Pick this first one. All right, and then let's zoom in on that a little bit so we can see it. Okay, so we know that we want to include the elevation values because they're important. The hill shade is not important. So over in our contents pane, you can see um, that we've added a legend element in our layout, and we can just turn the hill shade off here. That simplifies things down a little bit. Um, then we can go into the properties for our legend, which is cut off at the bottom here, um, and we can make some of the other changes that we need to make. So first of all, we don't want to show the word legend because that's not necessary. Um, and we'd like to have this say something that's a little bit more descriptive. Some of these things we can edit right in the contents pane. Makes more sense to just label this elevation. We don't need the word value. We can delete it here quickly and it closes up that gap. Uh, it should close up that gap. For now, let's go over to the symbology, and then we'll deal with that <laughs> lack of response in a second. Over here, we can add our units. I'm going to round that to uh, a nice round number. All right, so we've added our units, and uh, finally this reacted to the fact that we got rid of the word value, which we don't need. Um, and there we have it. It's so the easiest way to do some of you know, any other editing that you might want to do on this, whether it's to extend the patch or add labels, is, I think, to convert it to a graphic. Once you convert it to a graphic, you can ungroup all these different elements and treat them separately. But I want to show you really quick where this stuff is. So you can always go over here to the element. That's our legend right now. That's our, our element from the layout. Um, or you can just right click to open the properties for the legend over here. And we can show the properties for the legend items. And this is where we get into some of the details of how this thing is set up. The patch is what this is called. And you can see the patch height is only 12 points. So if we change that to 24, it spreads that out a little bit. Okay, so we can put a little gap in here that's over here in spacing and between the patch and the text. Just pump that out a little bit. 